Hi, I'm Shaka Hislop and you're here at Extra Time TV. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Extra Time TV. This is Andre Soklal, and I'm joined today by a man who is uh, one of our bright stars of Trinidad Tobago football, Jovin Jones. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. And you? Yeah, not bad at all, Jovin. And you know, um, I should be asking you. You know, uh, you know, we've recently found out the breaking news. It's no big secret that you've been signed officially. I heard the rumors, but it's official now to David Beckham's Inter Miami. Tell us about that move. Um, yeah, it's a, a good move for me. You know, I spent four years with Seattle. You know, I'm moving away from Seattle, it hurt a little bit, but you know, it's a new challenge for me, a new era for me, and I'm looking forward to it. You know, I was looking forward to new challenges in life. Yep, you know, uh, when uh, at the end of uh, last season, you know, everybody who follows you knows that you have a closeness to Seattle Saunders. We know you spent some time in Germany as well, but uh, yeah. you definitely understand because you're well loved there. And um, you had some great memories there, you won a lot of titles there, so it must have been, um, as you said, you know, a bit of a... A bit of sweet exit. Yeah, you know, that's the only club I spent more than um, two, three years with other than um, W Connection, you know. And going to Seattle for four years and I felt like I was in a good spot, like, you know, I felt like I was home, you know, comfortable, you know, but things happen, you know, God plans, you know, and it's a new challenge, so I'm just looking forward to it now. Yep. Life so goes on. Yeah, correct. And you know, um, your performances have really warranted such a move. Um, you know what? You know, it's exciting because you know Inter Miami is a very ambitious franchise. You know, we all know who David Beckham is. That's no yeah. big secret. Um, you shouldn't be watching football if you don't know who David Beckham is. And you know, you'll be linking up with the players like uh, Gonzalo Higuain and many others, and uh, a, a top coach, a top young coach, I guess, if you want to say it like that. Um, how are you mentally prepared for this new challenge? Um, I'm mentally prepared. You know, trying to get my, my, my focus on from now on, my mind, right, you know, going into this new challenge. Um, so essentially, the move is one that uh, a lot of people are speculating against, uh, are speculating about for the last couple of weeks. But uh, when did you know this was going to happen? Was this like a recent uh, event or did you? It was nah, it they've, they've been behind me since January, you know, back and forth, back and forth. I was just weighing out some of my options thinking about going back to Germany, but, you know, most clubs said that, you know, I will have to wait, like, two months again for the for the next window, because, you know, it's closed now and no teams in bringing in no players at this point because, you know, the window is closed and, and yeah, so I was just weighing on my options and see what's the, the best fit for me because, you know, I, in... I reach a stage in my career where I have to make the right choice. You know, I have a family to feed. You know, I have my personal goals. So, yeah. Yep, you know, it's um, it's exciting for Toronto Tobago fans because, you know, obviously, uh, for those of you who are not that old yet, I'm still kind of dancing in between the young and old brackets where we remember the days of having all those stars in England, you know, York, Hitslop, you know, uh, yeah. Prince, all these guys. We had so many players in Europe and in Scotland. And now, you know, yourself, Levi Garcia, you know, Kevin and, you know, Alvin was recently at, um, at, uh, in, in the MLS as well. Um, being some, one of the few guys that are, you know, outside of Trinidad and Tobago at uh, reputable franchises, a lot of younger players are looking towards you. You know, um, what is that like yeah. in terms of being like a role model for you? Yeah, I say it's an honor, you know, to represent the younger guys, you know. I know I have to, to do my best out there to make way for them and to put our country on the map, you know. So for me, it's an honor. Yes, yes. Um, you know, like I said, not to repeat myself, but you know, like a lot of kids were messaging me and my Instagram and um, all these things asking, you know, when are you going to talk to Jove? And I was like, listen, <laughs> give me a chance. I'll get to him because that's how, and that's a good thing. You know, there's a lot of negatives in Trinidad and Tobago football. So it's good to highlight the positives yeah. when they do happen. Um, yeah. and this is a good thing. And these guys, you know, it's very easy for them to get disheartened and give up. And then when they see guys like you and Levi and the others and Keston Julian, um, you know, making these moves, it's a good inspiration for them and good role models. Yeah. But, um, you know, yeah. yeah. So heading back to the uh, the Inter-Miami thing, you know, Phil Neville, 
There's, uh, you know, obviously they brought up Gary Neville, you know, Manchester United yeah. guys, uh, former England women's national team coach, uh, obviously a friend of David Beckham. Uh, what, what, what do you, what are you, your thoughts about being coached by a guy like him? Well, it's an I honor think- to play under him, mm-hmm. you know, because he played for Manchester United for a long time, and I think he coached England uh, women's team or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, I think he have the experience. I think he's gonna do a great job. Yep, you know. So, I have to be honest. You know, as a Toronto Tobago fan, first before interviewer, you know, this is very good news for us. You know that you're playing for a, a franchise like this. Congratulations on your Inter Miami move. Also, good luck in the game against Guyana, and thank you for the uh, the contributions and letting us know your thoughts on youth football and you know the difficulties that you guys are facing because it's very easy for people to speculate. And yeah. not get factual information because we know that's an issue. And, you know, it's straight from the source. Good luck in the game. And thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks, man. No problem. Yeah. Just a reminder, everyone, for more episodes with Shaka Hislop, be sure to head over to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more updates, interviews and content.